In this video, I'm going to show you the best Adobe Premiere export settings for YouTube Shorts. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you want to learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So when creating YouTube Shorts, the thing that's going to save you a ton of time is actually shooting your video in vertical modes. For example, if you're shooting your video with your phone, you want to make sure that you're shooting the video straight up and down just like this, or as you would see it when you're scrolling through the short shelf on YouTube. If you're shooting your video with a camera though, you want to make sure that you turn the camera sideways. This is going to ensure that you get the proper shot composition, and when you put it in the editing room, it's going to be a lot easier to frame your shot. First thing you want to do inside Premiere is go up to File, New, Sequence. Then I'm going to go up here to settings and I want to make sure the editing mode is set to DSLR for time base. It's just going to be whatever you shot your video at, whatever frame rate you want it to be. Just go in here and just click whichever one you want. Mine's 23.976 or 24 frames per second. Then for frame size, this is extremely important. You want to make sure that you set it to 1080 by 1920. This is going to tell YouTube that the video that you're uploading is a YouTube short. For pixel aspect ratio, just make sure that it's square pixels 1.0, no fields, progressive scan, display format should be the same as your frame rate, 23.976 frames per second. Sample rate should be set to 48,000 hertz, and then display format should be set to audio samples. Then what you can do is just go down here to save preset and type in YouTube shorts. So the next time you come into sequence presets, it's going to show right down here. You just click on that. It's going to automatically have these settings set for you and just press OK. Then what I want to do is I'm going to add my first clip onto the timeline, click and drag that over. And if this box comes up, I want you to make sure that you click keep existing settings because we want to keep those existing sequence settings that we just created. Then I'm going to go up here to the editing tab. I'm going to click on that new clip and notice that the clip is not properly framed. This video was not shot in vertical mode, but I can still use it. All I simply have to do is just go over here to effects controls after you have selected the video and I'm just going to scale this up, make this a little bit bigger and then I can properly position how I want this clip to be within the frame. Then once I play it back, just make sure that it looks the way that I want it to. And I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to add in my second clip and notice that this video was actually shot in vertical mode. So as soon as I drop it down to the timeline, it's already properly framed. That's why I said you want to make sure that you shoot it in vertical mode to make sure that you have proper shot composition. Another thing that you have to do in order for your video to be considered a YouTube short is make sure that your video is no longer than 60 seconds. So what I'm going to do is just trim this down, slide this over. Anything longer than 60 seconds isn't going to work. Once I'm done editing, it's now time to export my short. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the very beginning of the timeline and press I on the keyboard for in. And then I'm going to go to the very end of my footage and I'm going to press O on the keyboard for out. This is creating in and out points telling Premiere what section of the timeline I want to export. Then I'm going to go up here to File, Export, Media. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that the format is set to H.264. Then we're just going to bypass preset for now. Then I'm going to go over to Output Name and just click on that. And this is going to be where you want to save your footage to and what you want to name it. So I'm just going to name this Shorts, select my file location, and then just click Save. Then I want to make sure that export video is checked as well as export audio. If you don't have them both checked, one or the other is not going to export with the video. Then I'm going to scroll down under basic video settings and this is extremely important. I want to make sure that the width is still set to 1080 and that the height is set for 1920 in that vertical mode. If it's not, you can simply just uncheck this, make sure that everything is unlinked and then you can go here and just type in 1080 by 1920. Once that's done, go ahead and recheck this box. And scroll down here to frame rate. Make sure that your frame rate still matches. If it doesn't, uncheck the box and just click on whatever your frame rate is. For field order, it should be set to progressive. Aspect should be set to square pixels 1.0. And then make sure that you check render at maximum depth. Scroll down here to encoding settings. You have two options. You can change it to software encoding or you can change it to hardware encoding. I'm going to change it to software encoding because software encoding works on all computers. Hardware encoding may not necessarily work on your computer. So you can try either one, but I recommend using software encoding. Hardware encoding can be faster, but it may not work on your computer. For profile, you're gonna uncheck this box and you're gonna change it to high. And then for level, you're going to change it to 4.2. And then go ahead and scroll back down. 
Now it's time to select your bitrate settings. And what I want you to keep in mind is that you're uploading a YouTube short. So the video is gonna be no longer than 60 seconds. So your export process should not take very long at all, no matter how high the quality is going to be. So these bitrate settings are gonna definitely affect the estimated file size. But again, like I said, we're only exporting a 60 second video, so it should not take very long at all. So what I want you to do is select CBR, and then I want you to take this to 62.5. And notice that the file size did increase, but again, like I said, it's gonna be a 60 second video and it should not be that large of a file size. Then what I want you to do is make sure that you check use maximum render quality and then go up here to audio. For audio format settings, audio format should be AAC, basic audio settings, audio codec AAC, sample rate should again be at 48,000 Hertz, channels set to stereo. For audio quality, it should always be high. For bitrate settings, you just wanna make sure that it's set to 320, and then advanced settings is going to be set to bitrate. Then once you've done that, you're gonna go up here to this little save preset button. You're gonna type in YouTube shorts export settings and just press okay. So now every time you go to export a YouTube short, you can just click this little down arrow here and then just select YouTube shorts export settings and you don't have to go through this process every single time. Once you're done, just click export. One thing that you also need to do is put hashtag shorts in the description of your YouTube video in order for YouTube to recognize it as a YouTube short. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.